My name is Casey DeWorth and I am a artist, a potter, painter, mosaic artist here at the Jacob Farm Art Center. So a typical day for me would be basically getting up and I'm lucky to be a resident here so I walk about 50 feet to work <laughs> and uh, turn on the lights and start up the, the compressor, check the orders and just start painting whatever pottery we need for the gallery or the shop. The best part about being here and working here in the shop is getting to do pottery every day. You know, coming in and getting to design the work, to paint it, to occasionally even throw the pieces and seeing it from start to finish. It's like being a wizard. <laughs> it's magical. It's like one of my favorite things that people describe it as is it's magic and I get to be a key part of that magic. In my own studio, uh, I do focus on wheel thrown pottery, um, but I also tend to do hand building uh, and do a lot more additive uh, treatment to the clay itself. So uh, I'm used to treating the clay uh, in my day job as a canvas and doing a lot of two-dimensional painting and illustrative work. But then when I get to be in my studio, I get to add to that surface, so I, I really enjoy a lot of textures. I enjoy kind of adding more three-dimensional uh, features to it, like different coral textures or like little tendrils or um, mushroomy bits coming off of bark or anything that brings it even more into our space and not just a flat piece of art. Living here at the chicken farm is actually one of the main reasons I fell in love uh, with the art center itself. It's the sense of community amongst the fellow artists and the people who live and work here. It's a, an extension of my own family. They've become my family, my friends. You, you just need to bounce those ideas off of each other and to have that kind of community where you know that you've got somebody who also shares those creative ideas and ideals and you can go and talk to them and they're gonna be able to feed into that and kind of encourage you to, to grow as an artist. To me, the chicken farm is extremely special because it's very unique. Um, the community, the artists, the people who come and are involved with it, there's nothing else like it that I've come across. Biggest switch for the future of the chicken farm is the continuation um, through growth and community and the artists. The, the bonds we make and the experiences we have together, I feel influence us to be better artists and better people. And it's something that is, again, very unique out here. And I want to be able to look back, we're coming up on you know, 50 years of operation um, in just about a year's time, and I want to be really old and wrinkly and looking back 50 years from now and, say, and see that the chicken farm's still here, still encouraging artists to be the best that they can be, still a community of artists, you know, feeding into one another's art and participating in all the wonderful things that this place encompasses. So the Chicken Farm Art Center, uh, we have a website. You can go to www.chickenfarmartcenter.com um, and you can go on there and navigate through the pages, uh, find all the information about us, directions, contact us. There's a page dedicated to links for each one of our artists since we have 16, uh, at any given time, at least 16 different artist studios, um, as well as the restaurant and the bed and breakfast that's located here. Um, so all the information can really easily be found there. The other way would be to follow us on Facebook um, and it's just Chicken Farm, the Chicken Farm Arts Center. Um, and uh, you should 
see us. I think we're the, the only chicken farm arts center that pops up on the search bar and uh, Facebook.